is Dr. Emily Howell from Ash Bridges Health Center. Again, I'm doing some more videos due to our closure because of COVID, but I thought I'd add some more helpful hints for core breath and pelvic floor activation for those of us that are postpartum or having issues with um, any incontinence, pain, um, any functional issues. Always good to incorporate your pelvic floor and your deep abs in terms of supporting your pelvis as well as your spine and your whole body. So again, these exercises might not be for everyone. Some patients may um, have an issue with too much contraction, so these could aggravate your symptoms. So please don't do them. If anything feels worse, painful, and check with your healthcare provider to make sure they're right for you. As always, we usually recommend everyone postpartum and now prenatally go see a pelvic floor physiotherapist. I know currently we can't um, have contact visits, but a call to them might be worthwhile. So. This is based on information that I took through my Belly Zinc course. Always, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. But this was due to a person who sent me a message asking about uh, pelvic floor in relation to their back pain. So that's what started all this. So in terms of the first basic, we always talk about is alignment. So you always want to have your spine nice and lined up. Being in a slump position will make it hard to breathe and to activate a lot of your muscles. So making sure that everything is in great alignment. Um, next, what you want to work on is breathing. So you want to imagine almost that two umbrellas are expanding, that you're breathing down here as opposed to up here. So really working on breathing down here. And what they always describe is, is your diaphragm, when you breathe in, actually goes down. So when you breathe in, and then when you breathe out, it comes back, back up. And basically what you want to end up having is your pelvic floor and your diaphragm working in symmetry, not against each other. So you want to incorporate the breath with the pelvic floor contraction so that they can work to their maximum. Obviously, during labor and delivery, you want the opposite because you want to help um, descend the diaphragm and the perineum to help with delivery. But on a regular day, you would want them to work symbiotically. So what you're going to do is you're going to work on that nice, expansive breath. And relax and breathe in. And out. Now what I want you to do on your next breath in is relax. And as you exhale, I want you to imagine that you're picking up an invisible imaginary blueberry. You don't want to squash it, but you just want to pick it up with your pelvic floor to the point that you're contracting it, but not squeezing too hard. So I'll discuss it and talk about it as I go through it. So breathe in, relax and breathe out, pick up your blueberry. Breathe in, let it go and pick it up. Very good. You can try this side lying. You can try this lying on your back. Um, some people like to sit on an exercise ball too to give them a little bit more feedback. Again, if anything's uncomfortable, stop. The next phase would be that as you progress and practice, and you can do this while you drive your car, at home, that kind of thing. What I want you to imagine next is that your hip bones are coming towards each other and that'll help to activate the deep abs along with the pelvic floor. So you're gonna take a breath in, relax, and then as you exhale, pick up your blueberry and imagine your hip bones coming towards each other. You can put your fingers right just on the inside of your hip bones and you'll feel those muscles contract. Again, when you breathe in, relax. And then as you exhale, lift your floor and bring your hip bones together. And that'll help to fold everything back in. You can do this as you're going to pick up your kids, lifting groceries, that kind of thing. Again, with a nice leg squat, not just your back bent over. Um, you wanna basically use this whenever you have to make some effort. Again, if you feel any pain, please stop and definitely check in with a pelvic floor physiotherapist to see if that works for you. And this can be done immediately postpartum, many years postpartum. Once we're postpartum, we know we're postpartum forever. So this doesn't go away. And um, I know a lot of us have had issues with that and we don't mean to. Leakage is common, but not normal. As well as if you've had any back pain, you've ever had a child C-section or not, or if you've had pain during intercourse, those are some key signs that you actually wanna go get checked by a pelvic floor physio. So this is just an introduction as a way to help my one patient with back pain, but feel free to let me know if you have any questions. So thanks for watching, take good care of yourselves and be well.